So is Rare Replay a great value worth revisiting, or is it a bust? Let's find out, fools. Hello! Fools? <laughs> this isn't just a collection of games slapped on a disc. No, no, no. Every game has a cool little menu and cool challenges to unlock that will open up behind the scenes videos and all kinds of interesting things. Looks like Microsoft and Rare really went all the way in putting this package together. And of course you get achievements that will raise your game scores also if you're into that sort of thing. And it's just the presentation is just so well done. You can see a lot of work went into it. The awesome musical intro alone is worth the price of admission. I mean it's fun, it just reminds me of why Rare was so cool. Those funny little jingles and that quirky British sense of humor. Nintendo fan, you've already played many of these games, and the awesome gameplay from these games are still there. Obviously, some of the games aren't as good as some others, but if you played these games before, they are just as good as they were. And honestly, some of the games actually control better to my surprise. Some games from the N64 era, so I think that's saying a lot right there. As far as Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie go, I just can't get what using the Xbox One controller. So if you're a veteran of the N64 and you played a lot of these games there, you may not like some of the controls in some of the games. Some of the games do have improvements. Improvements made on their Xbox Live Arcade versions, such as Jet Force Gemini, Banjo-Kazooie, and Tui, as well as Perfect Dark, and others. And a lot of the frame rate issues that came with the original game on the original console, like the N64, were mostly fixed. Although, strangely, some other games, like Grab by the Ghoulies and and Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts exhibited some frame rate issues and some choppiness. But it was nothing really egregious anyway. It didn't really affect the game that much. <laughs> nothing special really to say about the sound, other than it is likely enhanced due to the newer technology it's coming through. Obviously, some of the older games use mono instead of stereo, so all in all, the audio sounds just as good, if not better, than before. So for my final verdict, I'd have to give Rare Replay for the Xbox One a Platinum Mohawk Award. Good job, Rare and Microsoft. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo, fools. <laughs>